Now I'm going to show you some of the specifics about how a micro bit and the make code editor work. And this is specifically using Jackdack, which is shows up as modules in our extensions, which some people call libraries, like in Arduino. And we need to insert this plug and play hardware coding system for makers and for education into this whole make code environment. So if you Google search make code for micro bit, you'll get this screen, but it won't have modules in it. These, this toolbox here, we need to insert modules by going to advanced scroll down to the bottom you'll see extensions if you click on extensions here are all the different extensions that are readily available if we type in the word jackdack and then hit enter this is what you get this represents the extensions that we're going to use now I'm going to show you how to remove extensions that you don't need because there are going to be times that you've got a program and you want to get rid of some installed extensions under modules because you're going to be scrolling down to find the extension you need, the blocks you need, and these are all installed extensions in this program. I don't need all of them. If I want to get rid of, let's say, distance, and I want to get rid of, let's say, motors, then I will show you how to do that. We're looking at blocks. If you click on the video, uh, it, the description of this video, in the text, there will be a URL link to this program right here, this program link. When you click on that, you will get another tab up here that will show simulator. Now, if you click on that, then it will take you to something that looks like this editor here. Now, you'll also notice that we've got two text blocks. There, one is hidden. If I click on JavaScript, there is my text coding. And if I click the down arrow, there it is in Python. I'm going to go back to JavaScript. And I'm going to put your attention on this Explorer block right here. And if we scroll down to Explorer, this does not work in the Blocks tab. This is Explorer in JavaScript. And here are little trash cans next to each extension we want to get rid of. If I get rid of this one for distance, can go back, scroll down, get rid of motors, go back, scroll down, I think that's everything I want to get rid of. Now, I will forewarn you, if you get rid of an extension and you still have code that refers to that extension in your program, you're going to get error messages because you've deleted the extension that the code is referring to. Go back to blocks. You don't have to be in blocks. You can look at this system in... Uh, other text 
coating also. Reduce our screen size so I can really see my extensions, my simulator. So that's the example on how to get rid of extensions in make code and I'll give you another video here soon on adding extensions.